What's up, YouTube? My name is Vinny Fraser, also known as Vincentius Music, here with my beautiful fiance, Becca, and we are Real Reactions. Reactions. Blah. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to our channel today. Real Reactions here, and today we're getting back into some atmosphere. We're going with Bigger Picture. Just released two weeks ago, 125,000 views. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like the video in the description that we are reacting to. And don't forget if you change your perception, you could change your reality. Atmosphere. That last song, um, Okay, that shit was tight. So let's get it, man. Bigger picture. Atmosphere, slug, anyway. Atmosphere, the the group in general, like, you know, dope, always been close to me. But Slug, the artist, in general, um, I said that Immortal Technique with Dance with the Devil was the first hip-hop song that ever, like, smacked me in the face and plucked my heartstrings that really made me, like, damn. The first time hip-hop ever did that to me, I fell in love with hip-hop after that. Um, the first song that ever... Not the first song, but the first artist that ever made me think about like myself, like look inward and like start focusing on me and realizing that that's the synergy is Slug. So, yeah. Uh, I was like working on laundry and stuff this morning my music was playing on my phone and one of his songs came on and he was talking about I don't know what song it was but he was talking about how running he ran into someone from high school and they're like live this fancy corporate life and they're like what do you do and he's like oh you know I'm still just a wannabe rapper guy and uh, it like brought tears to my eyes man because I used to listen to him growing up and it's like we've you know we we grow up with these artists we grow with them like our, our lives change their lives change he looks completely different than he did when I first started listening to him like um, things change man and people change and just he's just always been that guy like he knows he's dope man but he's just humble he's just he's just a guy trying to make a living you know it's, it's so good it's his mind that's, that's where it's at. Was one was just the first son to carry the burden. I was barely a person. My yeah. folks were young but committed to keep up their end of the bargain. Protect me from harm and grow a garden. I was loved. I My folks were young but committed. They were committed to, to the hardships. They were committed to what they what they created. You know. They were committed to their first son. Yeah. Even though they were young, they were both like smart enough to know that whatever we go through, we have to make sure we're okay for him. And when I was one, was just the first son to carry the burden. I was barely a person. My folks were young, but committed to keep up their end of the bargain. Protect me from harm and grow a garden. I was loved, I was fed, might sleep through the night. I was taught how to talk and how to read you from left to right. I learned to argue and fight. Bars. 
I was taught how to read and how to, or how to write and how to read you from left to right. That's hard, man. I like how he did that too. Come on. And grow a garden. I was loved, I was fed, might sleep through the night. I was taught how to talk and how to read you from left to right. I learned to argue and fight from a distance where my vulnerability gets no recognition. And by the time I was 11, I was already defensive. An extension of environment and reinforced messages. Preemptively believed eventually I'll be a failure to my family and friendships. And Damn, bro. That was a lot right there. It was. He, said, he didn't say they taught me how to write and read you from left to right. He said they taught me how to talk and read you from left to right. Hey, sure. Of the bargain, protect me from harm and grow a garden. I was loved, I was fed, might sleep through the night. I was taught how to talk and how to read you from left to right. I learned to argue and fight from a distance where my vulnerability gets no recognition. Where my vulnerability gets no recognition. That's a bot. Yeah, I was learned to do this from a distance. I was taught how to do this from a distance. My vulnerability doesn't get recognition. That's hard, man. So you never like, really talk about those things. You never really... That's kind of like how my life was growing up with my folks. Um, like, you never see them argue. Like, you're you're held away from it all, right? You're kind of, like, yeah. sheltered in a way. Yeah. Sometimes it's okay to... It's okay to argue in front of your kids. And you, if you do it, like, in a healthy way, you know? And uh, if you don't see that, then you don't know how to do it either. So now he's growing up saying that... He's learned, like, he doesn't address his emotions as well. He just tries to deal with it by himself, right? Because that's what he was taught, is just to do it at a distance. So mm -hmm. he's trying to fight those battles with, with the situation, but only keep it to himself and not express to the other person. So he's trying to I say? I think so, yeah. Fight from a distance where my vulnerability gets no recognition. Can I cut you off? No. Okay. You and fight from a distance where my vulnerability gets no recognition. And by the time I was 11, I was already defensive. An extension. By the time I was 11, I was already defensive. An extension. Uh, extension of environment and reinforced messages. He keeps going. That's why I never paused it. An extension of an environment and reinforced messages. Is that what he said? I think. I don't think so. Already defensive, an extension of environment and reinforced messages. Pre yeah, preemptive. preemptively believed eventually I'll be a failure to my family and friendships. Pre yeah. And that's that's what caused him preemptively thinking those things, right? That's heavy, man. Was already defensive, an extension of environment and reinforced messages. Preemptively believed eventually I'll be a failure to my family and friendships. And when you mix it and blend it with contemporary pressures of adolescence, emphasis on the consensus of a book full of portraits, but didn't consider that we've been sketching stick figures underneath bigger pictures. <laughs> right? Jesus, he's so fucking. To get to the point that he's trying to make, he takes the scenic route, man, when he's writing. That shit's incredible. Of adolescence emphasis on the consensus of a book full of portraits, but didn't consider that we've been sketching stick figures underneath bigger pictures. Why the empty coffee pot? I don't know. Like... So he's in this in and out place or this or this restaurant or hotel or whatever this is. I think it's a hotel. Is that his is that what he used to look like when he was younger? I don't know. Like is that him? You said no, he looked that doesn't different. Look like him. The other guy that doesn't look like him. Okay. But didn't consider that we've been sketching stick figures underneath bigger pictures. It's his waiter. I'm not understanding it. And on my 21st birthday, already had my first born baby boy, and maybe homie saved my life, but Papa kept the motor running. Maybe homie saved my life. So the part before with the empty coffee pot and stuff, 
at first it went over my head, but when I'm thinking about it, he's like, he's just using a lot of, con like, contagious, that's a bad word, um, a lot of, like, multi-syllable words all at once, you know, so it's kind of confusing, but I think he's talking about how you can't not let me show my emotions and be vulnerable with you and talk about my things, talk it to his folks, but pull out the photo book. And try to make everything better every time there's something wrong or every time family comes over or whatever. You pull out the photo book and you make it all seem nice. But in reality, I've been in my room with my emotions since I was 11. Or when I turned 11, I was already defensive because of all the things and I can't be vulnerable. That's kind of what I'm getting from that part. Hold up. I We're going to pause it really fast. Yeah, in sorry the, about yeah. that. Bam. bam. All right, bam. The way that I'm taking this is that... How are you that's taking trying it? to, I don't know, for some reason I feel like that's him. Like, I feel like that's him at his 21-year-old, like, don't know okay. what broken down stage in life. He doesn't know what he's doing. He hands him the empty coffee pot because he just doesn't care. Yeah. You know, and then now he's talking again, go into how he, like, saved him, kind of how he grew up. And it's, um, I think it might show different versions. I of mean, him, it's he has but, the same kind of hair, like the mustache and the little goatee. So it could be him sharing with us that that was him at that age. In that you know, stage. He's telling us. Like, yeah, yeah, you might be right. Uh, but I just uh, the whole like photo thing. I don't know. I didn't understand what the photo what he meant by like this part. We pressures of adolescence emphasis on the consensus of a book full of portraits. But hold on, you have to go back a little bit farther for me. Forced messages preemptively believed eventually I'll be a failure to my family and friendships. And when you mix it and blend it with contemporary pressures of and when you mix it and blend it with contemporary. Pressures of adolescence emphasis on the consensus of a book full of portraits, but didn't consider that we've been sketching stick figures uh. underneath bigger pictures. We've been sketching stick figures underneath bigger pictures. I think what he's saying is that, like, your mind is not, or your reality in the pictures is not always what you see in reality I think you're right you know yeah. like, I think he's talking about like you drawing a sick picture of your family but if you put the picture on top of it like we never look up to look at the bigger picture we're always looking down while we draw but we never stop to pay attention to our minds is right. that what you're saying right yeah I mean I don't know I don't get it that's what I'm saying this is a tough one yeah, yeah. it's just mix it and blend it with contemporary like pictures. because you know you know he <clears throat> what about he, he preemptively felt like a failure and he mixes that and blends it with contemporary pressures of adolescence. Pressures of adolescence emphasis on the consensus of a book full of portraits. But with the pressures of adolescence emphasis on the consensus of a book full of portraits. So in my mind, that's the family photo book that his parents bring out whenever. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. Or, you know. Help us out. So. What if he's just saying that, like, that is the stage in life where kids are, like, trying to figure out who they are. They're trying to, like, they think all this realization is there. And then they start looking at all these pictures and, and not remembering the pictures but the bad. So then that's when you start thinking, like, your life's all bad and horrible and you start fighting the, Maybe. the thing. I don't know. But the next bar about having, like, a kid so young. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like, I can relate to that one. Yeah, let's go. But didn't consider that we've been sketching stick figures underneath bigger pictures. And on my 21st birthday, already had my first born baby boy, and maybe homie saved my life. But Papa kept the motor running, I'ma come and see you later. Trying to color up some paper, trying to make this right. I realize most experiences. Trying to color up some paper, trying to make this right, because he's out touring and shit. You know, that's why he's saying, he, maybe he saved my life, but I'll, I'll, he's, he's busy. 
Me saved my life, but Papa kept the motor running. I'ma come and see you later. Trying to color up some paper, trying to make this right. I realize most experiences are coincidental, but I'll never let go of these regrets I hold. That's why the pieces that were missing always felt more special. Better bring some bigger pencils to sketch my soul. But yo, when I was 31, both ends burning them. Thought that I was lost in the jungle, but I was in search of something. Learning how to deconstruct my puzzle. Permanently nervous, I was in love with the hustle. The mm, bro. To sketch my soul. But yo, when I was 31, both ends burning them. Thought that I was lost in the jungle, but I was in search of something. Learning how to deconstruct my puzzle. Permanently nervous, I was in love with the hustle. Yeah. The devil went to hell just to sell that selfishness. They tried to make me feel important. I fell for it. Embarrassment, trepidation, uh. plus a healthy dose of self imposed limitations over my own illustrations. Stop it, bro. Self imposed eliminations, Sorry. limitations on something. What did it say? The devil went to hell just to sell that selfishness. And he's like, they tried, hold on. They tried to make me feel important. I fell for it. They tried to make me feel important. I fell for it. Come on, man. To sell that selfishness. They tried to make me feel important. I fell for it. Embarrassment, trepidation, plus a healthy dose of self imposed limitations over my own illustrations. Woo! A healthy dose of self imposed limitations a healthy dose of self-imposed limitations over my own illustration over my own illustration self-imposed limitations over my own illustrations because of what someone else put in my head yeah something like that or like we paint our own pictures right like we all have our own perspectives and as we grow older our perspective change we choose to hold on to the memories that we choose to hold on we choose to act on the memories that we rem that we remember like we get to choose right it's it's not select or i mean sometimes it is selective but if you're constantly like oh sketching the picture of you had a horrible life then that's how you're gonna feel yeah right so if you went back and you tried to replace those bad negative memories with something that is good do you think it would have changed the outcome no no i don't know Ah, yeah. Plus a healthy dose of self-imposed limitations over my own illustrations. And when I struggled with the number 41, I had a couple more sons. And it feel like my real life had just begun. It's getting... When I struggled with the number 41, taking us through his whole life, man. For my own illustrations And when I struggled with the number 41 I had a couple more sons And it feel like my real life had just begun It's getting harder to translate It's likely I've already played my part of this landscape And all of this time I've been following my design Trying to find a little solace in how the stars align It kinda looks like glitter But every pixelated flicker gets the proper position In the biggest of pictures and when I was 51 But I think, yeah, I think so. And this one's depicting, like, his younger self. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think they're both depicting his younger self in the video for, yeah. the, for the actors of the video. But they're also, I think, his real children. Not sure. But we're definitely going to look into it after this. But... On, on and on and on and on.
and on and on on and on and on and on on and on and on and on on and on and on and on atmosphere good job bigger picture somebody want to help break that down a little bit i think i don't know if i got it right yeah me me same i don't think i understand me 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 (laughs) um but um yeah amazing how it ended man and it's just on and on and on you know hell yeah hope you guys enjoyed that help us out in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, point us in the direction we should head towards with some atmosphere. I got some ideas, but um, I'm sure there's bigger atmosphere fans out there that can help us get get to the right direction. But um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Real reactions, we out of here.